Special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Rusberg for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scarecrow before here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Shenhang FC-31 Jer Falcon. The FC-31, also known as the J-31 or J-35, is a twin-engine, mid-sized, fifth-generation jet fighter developed by Shenyang Aircraft Corporation. The official nickname published by Shenyang Aircraft Corporation is the Jer Falcon though it has been referred to as the F-60 or the Ju-21 Snowy Owl in some media reports or Falcon Hawk by some military enthusiasts. The JXX nomenclatures in the Chinese military are reserved for programs launched and financed by the People's Liberation Army, while the FC-31 plane was developed independently as a private project by the aircraft manufacturer. So this here is our second ever um, Chinese aircraft, so fun to kind of revisit um, the Chinese and uh, basically their aircraft and a lot of stuff. This right here is basically the Chinese attempt at a F-22, I would say. Um, though definitely some kind of inspiration, I would say, also from the F-35. Uh, it's a pretty nice looking aircraft, honestly. I really do like it, and I decided to go ahead and go with the darker um, gray colored one, or almost almost black, um, as I thought it looked really good, and also kind of matches our uh, Soar Dragon that we have over there, our um, drone that we did a tutorial a little while back. But uh, overall, pretty nice aircraft. Um, really like the way it came out and should be a fun one to add to your worlds if you're looking for some kind of modern um, Soviet uh, type aircraft, a fifth generation one. Uh, so yeah, pretty fun build. I said Soviet, I meant Chinese obviously. Um, but yeah, a pretty awesome build, should be pretty, pretty cool to add to your worlds. Before we go and jump into taking a look at the build, I do want to go ahead and give a special thanks to Patreon support Derek Frost Westbrook for making this tutorial possible. As always, if you're interested in supporting the channel more than you already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in my video description where you can go and play the small amount to the channel every month and in doing so earn a vehicle request you're choosing. It really helps support the work I might do on my channel and is fairly greatly appreciated, so definitely feel free to check it out if you are interested. With that though, let's go ahead and move into taking a look at the build. So, um, we have both the landed and in-flight versions available for you guys. We'll take a look at the in-flight version because we can get a better look all the way around the aircraft. Uh, but as you can see, we have basically the darker gray for the majority of the aircraft, um, basically a little bit of a lighter uh, gray on the nose there, and a little bit of lighter gray around the engines on the back there. So just how the aircraft is represented, um, there is a nerve version that is more of a lighter gray, um, but I think the darker gray again looks really nice. Um, again, it has that stealth look to it, so very kind of boxy, um, very rigid angles, you can see the intakes there, um, pretty uh, rigid. And just overall really nice rigid feeling for the aircraft. Um, on the side here we have the little intake uh, markers. And this isn't on the aircraft right now. It's still with the Shenyang logo. But I went ahead and added this um, little kind of uh, symbol here for the Chinese Liberation um, Military or Air Force. Whatever they call themselves. Same as we did for the Sword Dragon there. Just because if this was a Chinese aircraft I imagine it would probably be located somewhere there. Um, have that little symbol there. Uh, but yeah, I think it was a nice, really nice little addition there and looks good for the um, aircraft. As we work our way back, we have the uh, wings here for the aircraft. Pretty short, stubby wings. Again, stereotypical for a still fighter of this size. And we have our two jet engines on the back here. Again, that F-22 type of um, inspiration for the aircraft. But overall, really nice looking aircraft. Should be a fun build to add to your world, especially if you're looking for some kind of fifth generation, kind of futuristic, I guess, Chinese aircraft for any kind of modern um, military conflicts or anything like that you guys might be interested in incorporating. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool stuff. Again, I'll show you guys the landing version here as well. So we have the landing version, the landing gear, pretty simple stuff. Um, landing gear on the modern aircraft isn't anything really too complex so yeah just some simple landing gear there and all that stuff so that'll be an option as well to have this aircraft land in anyways that's it for this overview for the fc-31 and with that let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer all right guys so going ahead and moving into our first layer here we go ahead and start with layer number one now a few things i want to mention here before we go and dive into the tutorial is first off if you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials the way i like to start these tutorials i like to do half on camera off half off what this means is we're we'll building the entire center line of the aircraft in the right side and it'll be up to you guys to take what we do on the right side and copy it over to the left side 
This aircraft is completely symmetrical, so whatever we do on one side will be present on the other side, so um, there shouldn't be any issues with that. Uh, but once we get through the first few layers, it'll make a little bit more sense as to what we're doing. At this point, also, I want to mention, if you do want to build the landed version, we will be adding the landing gear on at the end of the tutorial once we have the in-flight version complete. To make sure that the aircraft is positioned correctly, if you're wanting to put the landing gear on the aircraft, make sure that you have two blocks of space between, between basically the ground level and our beginning here for this layer. As you can see we're using pretty much top slabs for this layer so you have two and a half blocks of space between the ground level. Very important you make sure that that is correct now because any pro any uh, differences or any problems there could um, alter the look of the build. So just make sure that's good to go and once you have that all set we can go ahead and continue on. So at this point the first thing we wanted to go ahead and do is we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight polished blackstone top slabs. So again, that's a row of eight. We're gonna go and place down two dark oak trap doors coming off that row of eight toward the direction you want the front of the aircraft. So we're gonna have it that way. And then we're gonna go and then place down four trap doors in the direction of the back of the aircraft. So that way back there. And that'll be our center line. After that, we're gonna go and go to the side of our second polished black stone top slab from the front. We're gonna place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven slabs back. So it should end with that last dark oak trap door there. And we're gonna then place down a row of one, two, three, and four dark oak trap doors after that. Next row, we're going to go ahead and place down a polished blackstone top side of the side here, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, polished blackstone top sides back, and then 1, 2, and 3 iron trap doors there on the end. We're going to go and then go to our fourth from last polished blackstone slab, so this one right here, we're going to place down a dark oak trap door, and then go forward 1, 2, 3, and 4 like that to have a row of 5 on the side there. Uh, once we have that done, uh, we can go ahead and also just place down a dark oak trap door on both sides here of this top slab there in the front. And with that all complete there, that is going to basically wrap up what we have there for layer number one for the build. Here's the overview of what it should look like once you have that complete. So we have the right side here, I'm going to copy it over across the center line to create the left side. So just like this, again, is the overview. And with that, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number two. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer two. For layer two to start off with, we're going to go to this dark oak trap door here. We're going to place down a gray state or just a gray concrete block on top of that trap door there on the very front and then we want to go and go forward one two three four or sorry just three uh, gray concrete so it overhangs past this dark oak trap door on the front here with three gray concrete blocks we're going to go then place down two polished blackstone top slabs and then an iron trap door there on the end there like so after that point, we're going to go then go back to this gray concrete block here, and from this one back, we're going to go and place down a row of gray concrete that's going to go all the way back, a total of 17 blocks, and it should stick four past this dark oak trap door here on the bottom from the previous layer. So that right there is going to create that bottom section there, and should fill in the space here in between these dark oak trap doors again from the previous layer. We're going to go then go after that row of uh, gray concrete, one, two, three polished blackstone top slabs, and then two dark oak trap side down, or sorry, two upside down. Two dark oak wind trapdoors, <clears throat> not upside down, we can't do that. Um, so just like that for the center line. Moving out to the sides here, we're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and grabbing wither skeleton skulls and on these two gray concrete blocks in the front, we're going to place down two wither skeleton skulls, followed by two gray stainless panes, and then one, two, three, four, five polished blackstone walls. After those walls, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve gray concrete blocks back, two polished dancite blocks. And then two polished inside ups and downs, just sorry, three polished ups and down and the side stairs going back like so. Next row, going up to the front here, we're gonna go ahead and grab our wither skeleton skulls. We're gonna place down two coming off these two polished black stone walls here, so the second and third from the front there. And we want to go and then place down a black concrete block coming off this last polished black stone wall here. Behind that uh, black concrete block, we're gonna place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve gray concrete blocks, then one, two, three, four, um, and five polished anisite blocks, followed by a stone brick upside down stair, a stone brick top slab, and then coming off both sides of the stone brick upside down stair, we're gonna place down a skeleton skull like so. To the sides here, we're gonna place down one, two, three polished anisite uh, upside down stairs, two polished anisite full blocks, and then a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve gray concrete blocks forward, and then one, two, three, and four polished blackstone walls forward like that. After we have that done, uh, we want to go and then grab a dark oak trap door and our polished black stone slabs. We're going to go and go to the third gray concrete block on the side here from the front. We're going to place down a dark oak trap door, one, two, three, four, five, six polished black stone top slabs, and then two dark oak trap doors. Then come off these six uh, 
slabs, we're going to place down six of those trap doors, and then we're going to go into the middle two trap doors and place down two more coming off of them like so. Anyways, once that's all complete, take a look at it from above here. This is what we should have for the top down view for with layer two complete. And with that all done, we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer, layer number three. Alright guys, moving into our next layer here, we have layer number 3. For layer 3 to get started with here, we're going to place down a stone block on top of this iron trap door, followed by a second stone block coming off it going forward, a stone top slab, and then two end rods like that off the front there. Going ahead and going back from that stone full block, we're going to go ahead and take our gray concrete, and we're going to place down a row that goes back a total of 30 uh, gray concrete blocks back, and then on the very end here, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull. After that, going back up to the front, we're going to go ahead and grab our light gray stainless panes. We're going to place down two panes here next to those two stone blocks, two polished black stone upside down stairs. And we're going to go then grab ourselves a diorite stair. We're going to place down a diorite upside down stair like so. And then a uh, diorite uh, full block like that directly after that. We're going to go then place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Uh, gray concrete blocks back, a polished andesite block, a stone brick block, and then a stone brick wall. Once we have that done, going again up to the front here, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull coming off the side of this gray concrete block, so the first one after those diorite blocks. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 gray stained glass panes and a black concrete block, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 gray concrete blocks. At this point, you can go ahead and kind of pick and choose what you want to do here. Um, if you want to have the aircraft landed with the engines off, I'd recommend placing down a black concrete block, maybe with a stone bun or something on it like so. But if you want the aircraft um, flying with the engines on or taxiing or whatever, we're going to place down a magma block and then a orange stained glass pane like that for the engines. Again, kind of up to you guys and depending on what you want to have this aircraft doing. So again, those are the two options you can do there, but basically that right there will be um, the jet engine right there. With that done, again going back up to the front here, we're going to place down a polished blackstone upside down stair, which will be coming off this uh, second gray stained glass pane like so. We're going to go then place down an additional two stairs back from that. And then after that, we're going to go then switch to gray concrete, and we're going to place down a row, actually sorry, we're going to place down a total of four of these stairs. So we're going to place down four um, stairs like that back in total. And then once we get to this point, we want to go and then take our gray concrete and we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Gray concrete blocks back, a polished andesite block, a stone brick block, and then a stone brick wall. Once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and start working in working on our wings. So for our wings here, uh, we want to go ahead and begin with by going ahead and grabbing uh, some daylight detectors. We're going to need some polished blackstone slabs and stairs as well as some gray concrete and also some iron or sorry some uh dark oak wood trap doors so to go ahead and get started for our wings here we're going to start off by placing down a polished black stone slab on top of that trap door and then a daylight detector that goes forward from it and we're going to turn the daylight detectors to night mode and all of our daylight detectors will be turned to the night mode so they have that shade of blue um, rather than keeping them on the day mode. So this, that's going to go ahead and go for all of them. After that though, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair and then one, two, three, four gray concrete blocks, two, or sorry, a polished black stone stair and then a polished black stone corner stair coming off of it, followed by a slab and then a daylight detector, like so. We're going to go then place down a daylight detector here to the side of the slab here and then a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight polished black stone slabs and another daylight detector on the end here, turn to night mode. We're going to go then place down a daylight detector here, and then a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 polished black stone slabs, 2 daylight detectors, like that back. Next row here is going to be another daylight detector here, turn to night mode, and we're going to then place down a row of 3 this time, 1, 2, 3 of polished black stone slabs, and then 1, 2, 3, and 4 daylight detectors like that going back. And actually, sorry, it's going to be a row of three and then a dark oak with trapdoor. So, my bad on that one. Just going to make that simple change there. We're going to go then go to the side here. We're going to place down a daylight detector right here. Followed by a row of one, two, three, four. Back, so you have a total of five there. Or, uh, sorry, it's actually going to be a row of six. So, it's going to be a level with that one. And we're going to make sure those are all on night mode. And then a dark oak with trapdoor here on the end. Next row is going to be a dark oak with trapdoor up here in the front, then a row of three of daylight detectors, again turned all to night mode, and then a dark oak trapdoor there. 
or actually it's just gonna be a row of four of daylight detectors uh we then want to place down a dark oak trap door right here and then a row of two turn those to night mode and then a narrow trap door right there in that section we're gonna then do a row three one two three and then a row two one two so just like that there and that right there will basically make up our main wings and this is what it should look like for the top down view with that all done, uh, going ahead and going to the back here of the aircraft now. Uh, we're going to start off by going ahead and placing down a daylight detector coming off the second from last gray concrete block here. We're going to turn that to night mode. And we want to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three polished blackstone slabs back and then two daylight detectors like that and going back from that. We're going to go ahead and place down a daylight detector here. Turn that to night mode, two polished blackstone slabs and two daylight detectors. Again, turn it to night mode. And then we're going to do a row of four of daylight detectors like so and then we're going to go ahead and do a row of two with a dark oak trap door on the end here and then we just want to go ahead and then do two dark oak trap doors like that on the end like that to make the horizontal stabilizers and with that all done that right there is the structure there for layer number three complete we do have a little bit to touch on which is going to be basically doing the um logos here on the side of the aircraft using these banners so i'm going to go and grab some of the necessary materials we'll need to make these banners and i'll see you guys here shortly to go ahead and make them um, so with that let's go ahead and move on to those banners all right guys so going ahead and moving into making our first banner we'll be going ahead and making these little striped banners here with the little arrows and uh, to make them we're going to go ahead and need two gray banners two yellow dye four red dye and two gray dye followed by a loom we're going to go, and go into our loom place our gray banners followed by our red dye. In our red dye here we're going to do the diagonal lines that go across like this and we're going to basically make a giant red X. We're going to go ahead and make both our banners just like this. So just our giant red X like so. Both these banners are going to go back into our loom along with our yellow dye and we're going to do the X like this so the X that's in the in the actual loom like that so it's a little bit smaller you get that red outline around the banner and we're going to do the same thing here for both these. Now both these banners we're going to place back into our loom along with our gray dye. Now at this point we're going to go ahead and separate what we do for each banner. And this is going to be splitting the banner in half. So one banner we're going to basically have the line of gray dye vertically splitting the banner in half on the left side. And then the other banner we're going to go and do the right side. So we get two banners that basically look like this. Now once we have that done we're going to go ahead and then go to the side of the second polished blackstone stair here. We're going to place down this banner like this on both sides and you will need both these banners because of the direction and just the way that the banners reflect on both sides so those right there will be positioned right there on those stairs and once you have that done that's going to basically do it for our first banner and let's go ahead and move into our next banner we'll be making moving on to our next banner we'll be going ahead and making this banner here um this little stripe symbol which will be part of our uh, little insignia that we have on the side of the aircraft so for this, again, real simple design, we're going to go into our loom, we're going to go and place down a gray banner, as well as your yellow dye. We're going to go and select the brick pattern, like this with our yellow dye. We then want to go ahead and select our red dye, and put that into the loom, we're going to go and do the stripe that goes um, horizontally across the center like so. And then after we have that done, we're going to then take our gray dye, do the bottom, or sorry, the top um, third split, like that on the top there, for our gray. And we're going to then do the bottom one, so just like that there, on the bottom. And once you have that done, you have a banner that looks basically something like this. Um, and that right there will basically be going on the sides here. So this right here will be going on this great concrete block and this stair here. So leaving a space of one in between them. And obviously, same thing will be done over here on this side as well. So just like that to both sides. And we'll be going ahead and now moving into our last banner we'll be making for this tutorial. All right, guys, moving into making our star banner here. We're going to be going ahead and making this gray banner with that red star. To go ahead and get started, we're going to go into our loom. We're going to go ahead and place down our a red banner, or we're going to need a red banner, two red dye, two gray dye, and a better pattern that is going to be the flower charge. We're going to start off by placing our red banner in the loom, followed by our gray dye, and we want to go ahead and then do the line across the center like that with our gray dye. We're going to go ahead and place this banner back into the loom, swap our dye around, so we're going to place down a flower charge into the loom and our red dye. We're going to go ahead and do, select this pattern, and we're going to create a uh, pattern that looks just like this. We're going to go ahead and grab that banner, put it back into our loom. We're going to take our red dye out and our banner uh, pattern, and we're going to place down our gray dye and our banner back into the loom. We're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and placing down a triangle, or actually, sorry, it's going to be using red dye. We're going to place down a 
uh, triangle, which will be, or the, no, sorry, gray die. We'll be going on top here. We're gonna do the top third, just like that. And then we wanna go ahead and place down our red die in the banner, or in the loom as well, followed by a diamond there, shape, like that in the center of our red die. And then we're just gonna use our gray die for the rest of it. Um, we're gonna place down a triangle, which will be coming up from the bottom here, like so. And then the lower third portion of the banner, like that, to go ahead and create this star. And this banner here will be placed down on the sides here of this gray concrete block to both sides in between those um, banners there with the brick pattern. And with that all done, that right there is pretty much it for the banners uh, we'll need. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this star banner on standby as we might use it there on the vertical stabilizer so I feel like it might be a good addition to put on the tail as well. Uh, but yeah, uh, basically that right there is the banners we'll need for that layer. And once we have that all complete, that right there is gonna wrap up layer number three. With that, let's go ahead and move on to layer number four. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer four. For layer four to get started with here, we're gonna place down an iron trap door on top of this stone slab here, followed by a daylight detector, turn that to night mode, a stone slab, and then right here, we're using a new technique, um, which is actually gonna be using a debug stick and a piston. Now, what we're gonna do here is, if you're on Java and you have access to a debug stick, we're gonna place down a loom like the, or sorry, not a loom, a piston like so, and then we're gonna go and take our debug stick and right click it like so, and it will set it to extended to true, and it'll create this cool uh, look here and it really helps if our sloping on the nose. Now if you are not on uh, Java, then you can go ahead and use a polished blackstone stair in this position like, like so. Instead, it works um, okay for this situation. Though again, this uh, piston here is going to look the best. And there might be glitches and stuff like that to uh, make this work on the other versions, but as far as I know, uh, the debug stick here is obviously the easiest on Java. Anyways, after that is done, we're going to then place down a polished, uh, or sorry, just a gray concrete block. And just note that if you do place this block, it will cause the piston to activate and, fit and get all messed up, so you will have to change that again. We're going to go then place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five black concrete, or you can leave this open as a space of five if you do want to do an interior for this aircraft. We will not be doing an interior in this tutorial, so I'm going to fill this in with black concrete. After that row of black concrete, we're going to do a row of gray concrete blocks back, which is going to be a row of 12, followed by, again, the same thing done with these two pistons here, two polished blackstone slabs, two daylight detectors, again, turned to night mode, and two dark oak with trapdoors after that, like so, for your center line. Moving out to the sides, now we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull at a slight angle like that to the sides there, and again, if your um, piston does act up, make sure you go and fix that. Followed by a polished blackstone slab, then one, two, three, and four polished blackstone stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen gray concrete blocks back. And again, we'll fix our pistons. Followed by one, two, three, four polished blackstone stairs, a polished ansite stair like that on the end of that row. Next row, going back up to the front here, we're going to place down a daylight detector, which will be on top of this third like gray or gray stained glass paint. We're gonna go and then turn that to night mode. Followed by a polished blackstone slab behind that, and then one and two polished blackstone stairs, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 gray concrete blocks back. I'm gonna go and double check my count here, and it should be 16 uh, blocks in total. We're gonna go then place down a polished anside block, followed by a stone brick stair, and then a stone brick slab coming off the front there of the stair, and then a skeleton skull on both sides of this stone brick stair. We then want to place down a polished ansite stair to the side of um, this polished ansite block as followed up with a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 gray concrete blocks. And after that, a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 polished blackstone stairs, followed by two polished blackstone slabs, two daylight detectors turned to night mode, and then a row of two of dark oak trap doors, and lastly, a gray carpet on that front stair there in the very uh, to go ahead and finish that off there. And with that all complete, I actually believe that is it for this layer. Just trying to double check, make sure I'm not missing anything and everything does appear to be good to go. So with that, here's a top down view of what this layer complete. And that right there will conclude layer number four for the build. With that, let's move on to layer number five. All right guys, moving to our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five to get started with here, we're gonna place a polished box, or sorry, a nether brick slab right here on top of this section here. So right there, the gray concrete. We're gonna go ahead and place down a row of four of black stained glass full blocks, two gray concrete blocks, two of our pistons again, using our debug stick to go ahead and glitch them out. Two polished blackstone slabs, two daylight detectors turned to night mode, and then two dark oak wood trap doors. Our next row is going to be taking black stained glass panes. We're going to place down a row of four along the side of those four black stained glass blocks, two gray stained glass panes, 
followed by two Wither Skeleton Skulls, and then a Wither Skeleton Skull at a slight angle like so. Again, we'll fix those pistons if they do decide to go ahead and act up. We're going to go ahead then go to the back section here. We're going to go ahead and place down a Dark Oakwood Trap Door, which will be on top of this gray concrete block here. So we're going to kind of go over from the third from last stair in this row here of stairs. Go forward on the inside of the fuselage here. Place down a Dark Oakwood Trap Door. Fall by a second one back, and then we're going to go ahead and follow this up with a row four of Daily Detectors. All turn to night mode, of course, and then two dark oak with trap doors, like so. After that, we're going to then place down a row of, or sorry, an upside down polished black stone stair coming off this gray concrete block, out to the side there at an angle, followed by a wither skeleton skull coming off the side of it. And then we're just going to go back one, two, three, four, and five stairs, and place down another wither skeleton upside down skull there on the back, like that, for the start of our vertical stabilizers. With that all done, that right there is going to wrap up layer 5, and with that we're probably going to move moving into our final layers here of the aircraft. So with that, let's go ahead and move into um, our final layers. Alright guys, so moving into our final layers here, we have layers 6 through 9. For these layers to go ahead and get started with, we're going to place down an air brick slab on top of this second black sing west block, followed by a daylight detector turned to night mode, and then a dark oak with trap door after that, like so. Then going ahead and going to the back here, we're going to place down a row of... Um, one, two, three, and four. Polished black stone stairs there in the center, followed by a corner stair like that to both sides. We then want to go ahead and go up from these stairs here and out to the sides here with a total of four polished black stone upside down stairs, as well as a wither skeleton skull come off the sides there of those stairs. We're going to go then place down two stairs here in the middle, polished black stone corner stair to both sides like that, and then going up again and out to the sides, we're going to place down two polished black stone upside down stairs, as well as a wither skeleton skull come off the sides there of those stairs like that. And one thing I'm also going to do is I'm just going to kind of throw on a extra addition, which can be taking a red banner and we can place it down here on this polished black stone upside down or normal stair like that to kind of give the put the red star there on the aircraft. Uh, something that you can do doesn't really need to be done, but just kind of helps reinforce that um, Chinese look for the aircraft a little bit more. Um, again, we don't have any official markings for what this aircraft will look like in service. Basically, all these markings here are just my guess as what as to what uh, the um, as to what the Chinese military would do in terms of marking for their aircraft, uh, it is still only a test aircraft and not currently in service with the Chinese military. So uh, those uh, obviously logos there are subject to change and you can obviously change them yourself if you would prefer a, um, you know, less daydreamy, I guess, type of design. Um, anyways, though, that right there is going to complete the in-flight version for the aircraft, and at this point in time, we're going to be going ahead and now moving on to landing gear as an addition for those of you that do want to build the aircraft landing. With that, that's it for the in-flight version. Let's move on to the landing gear. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into our landing gear, we're going to be going ahead and start with our front gear. For our front gear here, we're going to start off by going ahead and going to this dark oak trap door. We're going to delete this and the gray concrete block up there. We're also going to go and delete this trap door and the gray concrete block and this polished blackstone top slab and this gray concrete block like that. So we have this basically one by three space cut open. We're going to go ahead and place down two stone brick walls that come down like so, and then two stone top slabs in this space here. Coming down from this uh, wall, we're going to place down the end rod followed by a polished andesite top slab on the bottom here, and then a block of coal to both sides. We then want to go ahead and place down this banner design, which is a light gray banner, a black border, and a black horizontal line for the center. I'm not going to show you guys how to make it in the loom because it's pretty simple. Uh, but yeah, this right here will go on basically the two blocks of coal like that to the sides there. And we're also going to place down a dark oak fence gate coming off this end rod and open it up toward the end rod like so. After that, for our landing gear doors, we want to go ahead and then delete these dark oak trap doors here to both sides. We're going to place down two polished blackstone upside down stairs and then an upside down corner stair. And same thing over here, two upside down stairs and an upside down corner stair like that to go ahead and make our front landing gear. And with that done, let's go ahead and move on to our rear. And going ahead and moving into our rear landing gear for this, we're going to be going ahead and going down to this section here. We're going to go to the, this row of five of dark oak with trap doors. We're going to break the three middle ones and the three gray concrete blocks above that space like so. We can also go ahead and take this time to also, um, actually no, sorry, those do stay. So we should just have this opening right here. We're going to go then place down a polished andesite stair that comes off the side here like so. And going down from this, we're going to place down a lever on the bottom here which will be um, facing toward the outside there. Coming off the lever, we're gonna place down a stone brick wall, and then going down from the stone brick wall, we're gonna place down a polished and side upside down stair. On the side of the stair, we're gonna place down a polished black stone stair, followed by an upside down stair below that, and then an upside down stair coming off the back of that stair, and a polished black stone stair coming off that one. So going ahead and continuing on, uh, we're gonna go and then delete these three dark oak with top slabs, and then their place, we're gonna place down dark or polished black stone stairs like so, and then a row of 
three of polished black stone top slabs like that that come down from the landing gear doors. At this point, uh, we're going to go then make some banners here, which will be used on this banner or on this uh, these stairs here to make this look a little bit more like a wheel. So I'm going to go and grab the necessary materials, and I'll see you guys here shortly to make those banners. All right, guys. So for these banners here, they're super simple to make. We're just going to need two black banners, two light gray dye, and four black dye. We're going to go into our loom, place our black banners and our light gray dye. We're going to go ahead and do the line like this on the left side for one banner, and the line on the right side for the other. Both these banners will be placed back into our loom along with our black dye and we're going to do the line horizontally across the bottom there and the line horizontally across the top to create this kind of C shape um, banner. Same thing will be done for this one, line across the bottom, line across the top and we have these two banners that look like this. These banners here will very simply just go on the side of the two polished black stone stairs with the gray portion facing toward um, each other like that to go and make the wheel and same thing over here will be done on the side of this stair like that. And once we have that all complete like that, that will pretty much wrap up what we have there for the landing gear. And with that, we'll complete my um, landed and in-flight versions here for the FC-31. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do use this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This will be thing from a side of the build to my channel or this video if this does bring your social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. With that though, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary204, and I'll see you guys next time.